Good morning and welcome back to our series of educational videos which are designed to prepare you for World Speech Day, March 15th, 2018. Today our focus is your voice, how to use your voice effectively. Your speech content may be excellent and may be a perfect match for the audience's needs. Each word may be ideally designed for this audience. But how we use your voice is as important, if not more so, than what we say. So, how do you use your voice? The most inspiring words in a message can lose their effect if the speakers fail to ignite the passion of the audience. Voice variety accounts for a staggering 23% of your communication and it is achieved through combining pitch, tone, volume, and rate. Let's look at these one at a time. Pitch. When your pitch range is small, it's like music. The speech will sound boring and put your audience to sleep, or worst off, they may actually walk out. Two, tone. Refers to the emotional content carried by your voice. It is how you say the words, not the words themselves. For example, someone who feels a speech with energy is described as being enthusiastic. Someone who maintains a level of monotony, who doesn't change the tone of the pitch at all during a 20-minute speech, will do nothing more than bore each and every single member of the audience. Volume. Volume variations can catch your audience attention and focus them on key ideas or elements of your presentation. Silence is volume, at zero, but it's still volume. Strategic silence can help to drive home an issue, allows the audience to ponder on a point or prepare them for what is coming next. As an example, let's say you are delivering three main points. By pausing briefly between point one and point two, you are indicating that you are about to transition from one point to another. However, let's assume that point three is the most important. Before you begin with this point, Pause a little longer. Let the audience grasp the importance of what is about to come, what they are about to hear. And begin that point with a different volume, a different tone, a different pitch. Point four, the rate. Rate refers to the speed in which you speak. Speed is important. How fast or how slow you speak alters the listener's perception of what you are about to say. It alters the importance of what you are about to say. And it also changes from one culture to the next. Take a look at some videos on YouTube. Some great speakers speak at a rate of 80 words a minute because they slow down so that each word is clearly understood. Other speakers in a different culture, different audience, may speak at 120 words per minute because in that culture, with that audience, they actually speak faster. So the delivery is directly associated to the audience to which you're speaking. Other important points to consider in vocal variety are, and we'll cover just three, pronunciation. Many people say the correct pronunciation is important, but one must also accept the fact that English as a lingua franca, is spoken in more than 120 countries. And as such, every country has a slightly different pronunciation, each of which is 100% valid and correct. Point two, repetition. You have probably been told not to repeat the same words too many times. However, when you strategically, repetition can help to highlight a key point. Again, I refer you back to Martin Luther King, I have a dream. How many times did he repeat it? 
He repeats that word nine times, that sentence, nine times. Exaggerated words is your last point to consider. If your speech allows, find words which have a particular sound, words you can play with. As an example, the hamburger was delicious. Or I could say, the hamburger was delicious. Slight variations which carry much, much stronger meaning. I'll see you next week with the next video.